this shit! Triple THS is brought to you by DraftKings.com and the support of 146 Patreon backers like you. Alright, sit the fuck down and shut the fuck up, you goofs. Patriots are going to their 11th fucking Super Bowl. Fucking deal with it, haters. That's five wins so far, five losses. So no matter what we do this year, we're setting records. Either the most Super Bowl wins or the most Super Bowl losses. Suck it, Denver. I'm in such a great fucking mood. More people watch this on ESPN Plus than anybody's watched anything in the fucking universe. And let me tell you, that Greg Hardy fight, that's what fighting looks like. That's some good fighting. That's some of the best I've seen. That was probably fight of the year. That might be fight of the decade. Amazing stuff. Who's got questions about anything but the thing I just talked about? This question is for Henry Cejudo. You just beat TJ Dillashaw in 30 seconds. You're the first champion in a champ champ fight to retain their title. And Nikki Bella of the Bella Twins is blowing you up on social media. Is this the greatest day of your life? It is, man. It is. Where's my bowl of spaghetti for beating TJ, huh? I don't get his spaghetti. Isn't that his thing, huh? I get spaghetti when I win, right? I'm a snake. You're not saying any of that right. Seriously, though, how could you possibly top that win? I don't know, man. I've spent all the promotion leading up to this fight talking about saving the flyweights, and I finally did it, so I think it's time for me to move up and contend for the 135-pound title and abandon the flyweights. God damn it, Connor. Do you see what you've done to the sport? Every fucking champion now wants to move to another weight class as soon as they can. How are any of these champions supposed to actually be champions in their division? Fuck. Hey, before you move up to 135 and abandon the 125-pound division that you said you were going to save and be the champion of, how about you fight me again since, you know, I'm the only person left in the organization that's beaten you? And then I'll be the real champion of this division instead of trying to hop around as soon as I get the belt. I was deducted a point in the first round for low blows, man. Come on. Yeah, well, don't hit me in the nuts a bunch of times and maybe that won't happen. I beat you. I won my fight tonight. I'm the clear number one contender. I'm pretty much always the number one contender in this division. So how about you stop with the double champ stuff and come get some Joe B all up in your face? This question's for Donald Cerrone. Donald, it seems like every time the UFC puts one of their young up-and-coming axe murderers against the old guard, it usually ends in an absolute slaughter of the older guy. But for some reason, every time they set you up in this fight, you kick the living shit out of them. Hey, I'll tell you what, man, it's because I'm a motherfucking cowboy, motherfucking yeehaw! Bring in these fucking young guys, man, I'll beat the shit out of them, man, you know what I mean? This is all I'm saying. He told me shit to me, man, this motherfucker came in here thinking he was hot shit, man, you know what I'm saying? And I showed him how cowboy gets shit done, you know what I'm saying? Cowboy way, motherfucker, yeehaw! You can't block head kicks like that, man, you know what I'm saying? Man, that's some dangerous shit, motherfucker. After your win, you called out Conor McGregor, and he accepted your challenge on Twitter. Hey, dad, motherfucker, you know what I'm saying, man, I mean, what the fuck I've been waiting for that one, man. This motherfucker was a real fight, man. It's time to get some, man. How about that son bitch in Ireland, Russia, Kenya, parking lot of bar, man? I don't give a fuck as long as we're fighting, man. It's gonna be a real motherfucking fight, motherfucking cowboy shit, motherfucker. Yeehaw! Are you excited about how big a payday that type of fight would be? Shit, I don't give a fuck about money, man. You know what I'm saying, motherfucker? I'm just kick some ass, man. I'm just fucking people up, man. I'm like a real motherfucking cowboy, man. Red Dead Redemption 2 up on this motherfucker, man. You know what I mean, man? If Connor wants a big motherfucking fight, man, this is a fight to make, man. You know what I'm saying? Man, we're just gonna tear shit up in there, man. Have some motherfucking beers afterwards, man. It's gonna be motherfucking yeehaw! Motherfucking cowboy shit, man. Let's do it, man. This next question is for Gregor Gillespie. Gregor, you are a Division One All American wrestler national champion. You are unbeaten in 13 fights. You have five finishes in the UFC, two performance bonuses, and a fight of the night. You just beat up on Yancey Medeiros and finished him in two rounds. Why the fuck are you just now breaking into the top 15 at lightweight, and why have I never heard of you? Hey, a couple things before I answer your question. A couple things. Listen, all right, hold on a second. Just everybody, firstly, just hold on a second, guys, all right? If you're watching this and you stole my bag, please return my wallet and my mouth guards. You know you don't have any use for my mouth guards. You know you're just gonna throw them away. Just put them back in my dressing room. Room. You can take everything else you want. There's some sweet stuff in there, but leave my IDs in my mouth guard. I don't want to go to the DMV this week. I want to go fishing, okay? Secondly, hold on, everybody. Just hang on a second. Hold on a minute, okay? Just just hang on a second. To the fans in the Barclay Center that were booing me, listen, I get it. It's Saturday. You've got some drinks in you. You paid good money. You don't understand the nuance of wrestling. I get it. Listen, I get it. All I ask is that you have a little patience, okay? I'm going to get you your finish. I'll give you what you paid for. Just give me a few minutes to set it up. When you go to I hop? Do you shove the whole pancake down your throat immediately? No, you take bites. Just give me a couple bites, all right? If I don't deliver by the end of it, if you want to boo, that's fair, but give me some time, okay? Now, what was it you were talking about? Gregor, that was a really big win on a big stage. Is there anybody you'd like to call out? What's next for you? What's next for me is a fishing trip, okay? I just spent the better part of eight weeks getting the shit kicked out of me to then be locked in a cage with someone who's trying to knock me unconscious, okay? That's a pretty big weight on the shoulders. Have you ever had to do that? Have you ever been in that situation? 
situation you haven't. Well, let me tell you, it's pretty stressful, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and take some time. My boat's right outside the arena. I'm gonna take some time and go fishing and relax. I don't care about my next opponent. I'm not a matchmaker. And as far as calling someone out goes, that's not my game. I'm not here to manufacture problems when I literally have nothing to say about my opponents. If that's you, that's cool. But I don't care who's next and I don't care what so-and-so said about me or any of that. We're going to beat the shit out of each other in a cage. I'm sure whatever we say beforehand wouldn't be any worse. So, okay, listen, all right? Just, just, just listen for a second. Don't ask me to call people out, okay? I'm just gonna keep on winning and that'll get me where I need to go. Not everybody's meant to be Conor McGregor, okay? It's not in my nature, so I'm not gonna do it. I know, right? Did you see my gold suit this week and that snake thing? What the fuck was that? Exactly. Thank you. So yeah, don't ever ask me that again. And if you want to know what I'm doing after a fight, I'm sitting on a boat and I'm fishing. God damn it. I tell you what, man, I kind of like it, man. You don't give a fuck about anything, man. No, I'm saying motherfucker. Yeehaw! Thank you. This question's for Joanne Calderwood. Jojo, that was a really dominant performance out there tonight. Are you satisfied with your win? I really wanted to get the submission, but she became a bit slippy at the end of it and I couldn't get a hold of her. Other than that and her punching me in the face like nine times in the first second, I'm very happy. I do feel a bit sorry for Miss Lipsky. I'm a tough first UFC fight. Uh, I think I'll bake her a carrot cake that says, sorry you had to fight me on it. Your win tonight ties you for the most at flyweight in UFC history with three. I gotta think you're looking for a title fight next. Uh, is this what I'm supposed to say? Something outrageous to get the fight that I want? Yeah, give us your best call out. Uh, okay, I'll try. Valentina Shevchenko, I'm coming for my strap. You're taking everything I worked for, motherfucker. I want to fight your fucking arse. You know the real money fight is me. Uh, how was that? That was the greatest thing that's ever happened. In all seriousness, though, what do you feel like is next for you? Uh, next I'm going to go to bed. Uh, I'm fucking tired. But after that, I'll probably wake up and, uh, eat something. Not sure what yet. Maybe a Pop-Tart. I meant in your career. Uh, after I've had the Pop-Tart, I'll be able to tell you more. What's the biggest difference between living in Las Vegas, where you now train full-time, and living in Scotland? Las Vegas is just like Scotland, except it's warm and sunny all the time, and there are magicians running around everywhere doing magic tricks. There aren't as many magicians back home in Scotland, and the last time I saw the sun there, it was a wee lass. So, those are the main differences, I would say. Yeah, sun and magicians. I figured those would be the biggest changes for you. Thank you, JoJo. All right, it's been fun. I'm going to go celebrate New England Super Bowl with Tom Brady by prank calling Roger Goodell with him. Later, you fucking clown shoes.